Yeah, ladies, it took years for the Locust Hill community to reach this point. Let's take a look from above for a better view of this intersection. Live Sky 4 video now shows the new four-way stop that has been installed here. And Terry Mills, who lost her mother to a wreck here in November, says this is a step in the right direction. It's here to protect them. It's going to prevent someone else from losing their life. A new addition along Locust Hill Road to put a stop to crashes at what is otherwise being called a dangerous intersection. Something needed to be done. After Terry Mills lost her mother Catherine in a wreck at this intersection in November, she helped lead the charge to get added safety. For now, it's this four-way stop. But after a Greenville County Transportation Committee meeting last week, it will eventually be a red light. I think we've all come to an understanding that the four-way stop is a temporary safety gap until we can get the red light put in without all the turning lanes and all for the time being. Today, some people were not aware of the new addition. Deputies pulled over this stop sign runner. We've had some issues here, which we knew we would because people uh, don't know what they're coming up on. Only a temporary problem. That red light is scheduled to be installed later this year. And for Terry, it will be a final chapter to a book she wishes was never opened. I feel like my mom would be proud of me. I feel like I did it for a good reason, to keep, like I say, everyone else from having to feel that same pain. Burns tells me the red light will be installed sometime after Labor Day and before the end of the year. Until then, he asked that drivers be more aware of the new four-way stop and be patient with the process. Live in Northern Greenville County, Alan Devlin, WYFF News 4.